let's take our 3D model to edit mode and mark some seams. We select the edges that should become seams. And finally hit Ctrl E and choose, Mark Seam. Next we'll unwrap our model by hitting U and choosing Unwrap. We can see if there's a lot of stretching going on, if we select, New Image, and choose UV Grid as the type. Now we need to set viewport shading to textured, and the checkerboard pattern will show us if there is any bad stretching going on. Next we'll create a new UV map by going to the Object Data tab, and clicking on the plus sign in the UV Maps area. This one is going to map the backside of the hand, so let's name it back. We'll create one more map and name this one front. Let's start working with the map named back. We'll open up the backhand texture into the UV image editor. Now we'll create our UV map by hitting U, and choosing Project from View. Next we'll scale the UV map so that it fits the picture in the background. We will also grab some vertexes with G, while we have the proportional editing on, so that the transitions are smooth. We control the proportional area by rotating the mouse wheel. Now we'll go through this map and make sure it's matching the background image. It's better to make the map slightly smaller than the image rather than the other way around, because if the map spills over the image, it will put white stripes from the background in our texture. Let's save our progress at this point and move on to do the front map. We'll select it in the Object Data tab and then open up the front hand texture image. Now we will project the UV map from the bottom view, so let's press Ctrl 7. We can also rotate it upwards by pressing 4 several times. Now we can simply hit U, and choose project from view. Then we'll go through the same process as with the backside map and make the map fit the image. Now that the UV map matches the image, we'll go and select our main UV map. This is the one we will actually use for rendering. Then we'll go to Texture Paint. Let's select the clone brush by clicking on the image here. Then we'll select the Options tab and check the clone from UV map checkbox. For the clone source we'll select the front map. Now we can start painting. Let's turn the brush strength to full. And we can make the radius a bit bigger. Now we will simply paint our front hand image on this map. If some areas are behaving in a weird way, it usually helps to do a normal clone operation by unchecking the clone from UV map option, and control clicking to select a clone source from the viewport. Now that the front is looking good, we can turn to the back side of the hand and clone from the back UV map. Next we'll focus on the seams. Because the two images had slightly different exposure levels, we are still getting a visible edge where they meet. We can fix that by making our brush strength smaller in order to blend the two textures together.
let's speed it up so you don't get bored. Now that our seams are looking pretty good, we need to save our freshly painted UV image. Let's go to image, save as image. We'll call this file simply UV map. Now let's aim our camera at the hand in order to render. Let's turn on ambient occlusion to get quick lighting in the scene. If we render now we'll notice that our texture is still not there. That's because we need to tell the material and the texture of the hand to use the newly painted UV map. So let's make a new texture and choose image or movie as the type. Then we'll open the UV map image. Finally set the mapping to UV. And choose the main UV map from the drop down. Now if we render we can see that everything is working. Thanks for watching and see you next time on fastertutorials.com.